Hey, it's Mr. Leonidas here, and I'm just going over an item that I feel like is a highly underrated item in kits and EDC kits, and that is the cotton bandana. And the uh, bandana, cool little uh, item that I think a lot of people kind of just, just simply forget about because it's just such a basic item, you know, you're not really thinking about that when you're throwing in your knives and your, your paracord and your compass and things like that to your either your EDC or your your day pa your day pack for hiking and this has kind of become something for me uh, this this just I guess a necessity because sort of like uh, you know the the Shimog uh, wrap has become really popular and I really love that but these uh, bandanas and these are all different just sorts of shades of camo they're uh, they're a lot smaller I think they're they're about uh, the standard size is 18 by 18 inches, so you know foot and a half each direction, and uh, you know just a good size to that that really really compacts, you know easily. You can fold it over and over into you know tight little square like that, and you could you know pack a whole bunch of them in your in your you could pack them four in your back pocket like that if you had to, but really you know one one for me will do just fine. But yeah, I think it's just an underrated item. So uh, kind of first up, uh, kind of just the basic things most people would do with a bandana is obviously uh, like a head wrap. I mean, you can you can fold it over kind of in the V fashion and kind of put it over your head, do a round wrap around your head. Or what I like to do uh, kind of cowboy style if I'm trying to protect my neck against the elements is uh, just kind of do the regular, um, here, I'll, I'll, so I'll just go ahead and show at least that one. Um, just kind of fold it over and tie it around your neck and kind of you can either let it hang down the front and or, or kind of hang down the back of your neck and I, let, I do that as well let it just kind of hang down the back and then that way you have that ready you have a ready dust uh, mask you know that's something that, that uh, you know you may not be thinking about but uh, you can just simply just pull that up over your mouth you have that around your neck and you're good to go so you know whatever the situation I don't know maybe <laughs> There, there's lots of reasons why you might end up needing to uh, to cover your mouth. <laughs> well, really, you, you never know. So there's that. You got the protection from the sun, the elements, uh, you know, the dusk mask capability, and really, you know, such a small lightweight package. You know, something you're just, you know, um, I I try I always just try to remember now because I think it's you know it is an important uh, part to my kit. Uh, keeping sweat out of your eyes when you're when you're running. That is also that's very important to me. I've had many issues when I was driving back from somewhere I went to go running that sweat is like and it's like a hot day during summer and sweat's pouring in my eyes and when you're driving that can that can be really dangerous actually because it, it can be very frustrating if you have burning sweat kind of just pouring down in your eyes so bandana remo it removes that issue and then uh, you have a, like like if you're out in the field and uh, you need to wipe your hands off bandana I mean you can wipe your hands off wash them off wipe them off you could throw this away. I mean, all these are, I probably bought these for a buck, two dollars at a at an Army Navy surplus store. They're pretty cheap, and usually they have a lot of them when you go into the store. So that aspect, they're disposable. That's you know, I I've, I've been holding onto these for years, but I have thrown some away after so much use and and whatnot because they are cotton. So you know, eventually they'll just stain, they'll get really weathered. But you know, they they're gonna last if you take care of it. But but it's disposable, so it really, to me, it's a it's a disposable 18 by 18 uh, a band aid, really too. I mean, there's the medical purposes. I mean, you could you could rip this down to strips and make a tourniquet with it if you had to. You know, it might take take a little longer, but you know, you see in the movies the people the somebody gets somebody they're out somewhere, somebody gets hurt, they start ripping apart dude's shirt. You know. What if you had a bandana? You could, you know, everybody, what if everybody in the group had a bandana? You just take them and rip them to shreds. The dude still keeps his shirt, right? <laughs> I mean, we've all seen it happen in one movie, you know, somebody gets attacked by something or falls off this or that bandana. Um, so, yeah, you got the first aid capabilities, and you can kind of, you know, easily, easily carry. doesn't weigh very much, um, easily folds away. So... All that being said, you know, just a cool little item, and I'm just kind of, kind of in this up with just showing, showing how I usually carry this, and this is how I would even carry one in public. I would just fold it in half, you know, corner to corner that way, and I'm gonna start folding that towards me, 
and kind of leaving it about uh, maybe about two inches wide, inch and a half wide, to where I kind of have kind of that setup where you could wrap around your head. But instead of me wrapping it around my head, I'll take it in one hand and I'll wrap it around a wrist or forearm. And I actually uh, saw this from a guy in, uh, I went to high school with, and I, I don't really know what he was trying to do. I think he was just trying to be a rocker or something, you know, just be a cool dude and show off his and show off his colors. And um, that's what he did. He he wrapped the bandana around around his forearm, just like that. And I'm not gonna finish that knot up right now. But that's that's all I do. So if I'm wearing uh, survival bracelets or something that you know that uh, maybe maybe I want to throw a little extra on, maybe I don't want to wear the survival bracelet, I would maybe wear this uh, instead. Or like I said, it's a great addition. This could, this even protects your forearm against elements or a possible, <laughs> as crazy as it sounds, possible knife attack. So really like the, the application for a bandana are, are truly endless. I just gave you a few examples of how I use it and what I look to to using one for. But, uh, you know, just kind of throwing some things out there just to kind of kind of help some people and kind of give you more ideas. And, and, you know, I appreciate when others do the same. You know, it just kind of, kind of helps everybody out. I have learned so much off of these EDC kit videos and these bug out bag videos. And, you know, it's just, it's just really cool what people can share. So that's what I got on that. So I appreciate you watching and have a good day. It's Mr. Leonidas signing out.